Here are some settings that can help reduce the battery usage on your Samsung phone with Android 13 and or the latest Android 14 update. So to start things, look for your Wi-Fi toggle, long press it. And when you are here, go to details. Once in this section, you'll see the three dots at the top right, right up here. As you tap on that, you'll see an intelligent Wi-Fi and go into it. And here are some settings that you can turn off. You can always come back and turn these on if you need to. However, some of them will basically continuously search for Wi-Fi nearby and switch to different Wi-Fi's. Also just showing the quality of nearby Wi-Fi can use up some battery life there. In settings such as detect suspicious networks, all these will use some battery life just to continue running. You got the power saving mode here. And if you want to, you can turn that on. That'll help you out. The next one you can check is you'll go into the settings of your Samsung phone by tapping here. Then to quickly find this feature, use the search here and type in the words Wi-Fi scanning. You'll type it in. You'll see the suggestion here and you will go straight to it. So tap on it one time, that'll take you there. And this basically lets apps use Wi-Fi for more accurate location detection, even when Wi-Fi is turned off. So while your Wi-Fi is off, that's still gonna be scanning. Same with the Bluetooth scanning here. So if you don't want these constantly scanning, using up your battery life without you knowing, go ahead and turn these off. And again, remember, you can come back and turn them on whenever you need to. This next one here is known as nearby device scanning. So to find this one here, same thing again, use the quick access and tap on the settings icon. That'll take you to the main settings of your Samsung phone. Use the search here and type in the words nearby device scanning. As you type that in, you'll see the suggestion, tap on it and it'll take you to this here. Tap on that one time and you'll see nearby device scanning. You can turn it off from here or go into it. Basically, your phone will scan for devices nearby and let you connect to them. And this is a constant scanning. So by turning this off, that'll stop your phone from constantly scanning for nearby devices. So if you want that to stop, just turn it off. And again, you can come back and turn it on. This next one here is known as searching for printers or uh, a printing service found on your Samsung phone. So same thing again, go back into the quick access, tap on settings and use the search here and type in the words printing. Once you see it, you'll see the suggestion under connections and you'll go into it. It's right under nearby device scanning. So go ahead and tap on that. And if it's on, turn it off. If you go into it by tapping on the words, you will see that it is searching for nearby printers. So keep in mind, you can come back and turn these on and off at any given time. And of course, if I'm going too fast, you can always use the YouTube player to slow things down. Now this one here, you can go into individual apps and choose unrestricted, optimize, or restrict the background usage of a particular app. So to do this, for example, go into Facebook, long press the app here, and you'll get this pop up here. You'll go into the circle with the I, which is the app info section. Once in the app itself, you will go down to the part that says battery right here. As you enter, you'll see these three options. Keep in mind, some apps will not let you change, but the ones that will, will give you the options to switch between them. Optimize is your best bet, but if you really wanna restrict what that app is doing, switch it over to the restricted. You will get the notifications when you go back into the app, but on this option, you won't see notifications until you go into it. You can always switch that at any given time. This next one here is the digital well-being usage data access. So basically it allows apps to monitor with each, uh, with each app running constantly, just monitoring the apps itself. And by your phone doing that, that's gonna drain your battery life. So go back into the main settings and then go all the way down to where it says digital well-being and parental controls. And yes, you can turn that off and I didn't know. Once you go here, you'll see the three dots at the top right, right in this section here, right up here, those three dots right there. You'll tap on that one time, that'll give you settings. And as you enter into the settings, you will see these options, then go down until you see usage, data, 
access. So with this usage data access, of course, it's going to constantly be accessing data from apps. You wanna go into the settings there and disable the permission. So with the phone doing that, constantly trying to collect data, that's also using battery life for that. So awesome stuff here. And again, you can come back and turn this on at any given time by going back here and turn it back on if you need to. And finally, going into all the apps and disable notification for apps that you don't really use or don't care to receive notifications. So once again, go into the quick access, tap on the settings. Then from here, go down to where it says notifications. So as you are there, tap on that one time, you'll see app notifications. And by simply disabling notifications from a particular app, that's going to stop the phone from sending notifications or showing you no not new notifications and of course prevent battery usage because every time your phone vibrates receive a new notification that needs to use some battery just to get that process and by disabling the ones that you don't need or don't care to get notifications from that'll help you reduce some battery life now, of course, once again, you can go back and change these settings at any given time. There are plenty more other options, but this was just to go about without having to enable power saving mode, reducing your screen time, dimming the light and the screen timeout, like and sub. Thanks for watching.